All right, let's give this a go. Hi, I'm Mitchell Border, and this is the start of my overseas adventure. I recently got my two-year working visa for the United Kingdom, and in the next few weeks, I'll be heading over to land in London. I guess the point of this and all my travelling is to go meet people and get to know people and more focused on what we have all in common, what we all have in common rather than the differences. Um, I'm excited to learn about cultures and different historic sites, but at the end of the day, it's meeting people that I feel like is the main focus. I really enjoy hospitality because it's the only job I can think where you get to know customers on such a personal level sometimes, especially in bars, when they become more than customers but regulars and you know more about them than I guess some of their family do sometimes or you see a side to them that changes your perspective on things. I guess I'm looking forward to meeting all the people over in Europe and getting to know locals and regulars at different pubs and getting them to talk to them on a deeper level than maybe what they used to. Something as simple as what you do for a job and your occupation. I find that's usually one of the least interesting things about a person and it's usually something that they've fallen into or chosen for security or wound up in as the last resort. It's not usually something they aspire to be, and there's a lot more to it than that. I don't have much planned, to be honest. I've got, I've got the first two weeks organised. I'm staying with a friend of a friend. I've met him a few times, and I'm staying with his family for a few weeks. Hopefully, if this is all planned correctly, and oh, I really hope it is. Um, this is for all those people that ended up being those old guys at the bar that I'd serve who would sit there and tell me that they'd been in there every day for the last 50 years, drinking the same beer, the same time, the same size glass, pots of heavy or schooners of gold. God, I just... It would scare me when some of the older regulars would tell me they'd never left town, never been down the range, never been to Brisbane, let alone outside of Queensland or outside of Australia. And it's too easy. It's too easy to fall into a comfortable job into a secure home loan and car deposit and I guess it's liberating to pack everything up and I've never had a holiday where I threw most of my things away before I left. It was I packed what I could and left the rest till I got home but packing the essentials and throwing a lot of extra clothes and a lot of old books a lot of things I don't need or use as much as I do. One object, one another, the next. And I wondered what they meant there. They meant it feels like still. taking a big weight off me. Found I guess I'd never realized how much stuff I had until I started throwing it away. You bought in the desert, identifying wildflowers. And packing what little I could. Uh, I guess I'm only packing so much of it away because I think Dad's going to rent my room out when I leave. Uh, I think he's going to look into getting some Asian border. But, no pun intended. But, uh, I think Dad's more excited to get me out of here than I am. He's been helping me look for airplane tickets and travel insurance, and I really appreciate it because, uh, to be honest, I don't know if I'd have the effort to worry about that as much. And I feel like I should be worrying more than I am, but mm, oh, I'll see how it goes, I guess. Um, more of an adventure. I'm not sure what to expect over there. Um, I'm hoping my accent is fluent Australian and that it's not bogan, but it's still distinguished as an Aussie accent. Um, I've been working on some words. True blue, bloody struth, uh, fucking bonza, bloody oath. We're not here to fuck spiders. Give us a ciggy. 
go with my stubby of gold. Give me a schooner of gold or in a pot of heavy. I'm hoping my accent comes in use in a lot of areas, not just work, but maybe girls and stuff as well. Um, oh, the adventures. I'll film what I can. There's a reason for this. The only reason I can think people would want to watch this, it's more for those people that want to travel and have found a million excuses not to. I'm hoping by doing this, I can show you how little I've had planned, how little I've got saved, and that there are good people everywhere, and regardless of where you're from, it's your moral compass that defines you, is the true measure of someone. It's okay to trust people and not expect the worst all the time. If you want to travel, if you want to see the world, that is not impossible. And hopefully I don't end up dead or something. God. That cycles in the moon print. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing well. Your parenting skills are just... <laughs> No, they expect it, so you surprise them. Absolutely <laughs> damn. Right. I was telling Kel, I was like, we're talking about birthdays and stuff. And Kel I was like, who? Kel from down the, st- <laughs> down the shop. Kel. Kel. She's like a mother. Remember the little... She's short and you thought she was my age and she's got kids. Oh, her, yeah, she's weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's my birthday. She's weird. Well, she looks so young. Yeah. Oh, Anyways, I said that my birthday this year is on a you Sunday. You look normal, Janelle. <laughs> I said, Sorry. I said my birthday is on a Sunday this year. I'm like, oh, it's on the same day as Father's Day. And I was telling her how you, you wait till, you wait till we give you your father's day present before you give me my birthday present. She's like, oh my god. Yeah, she ripped me off, I'll rip her off. Fair enough, really. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I the other good thing is my Christmas my birthday present on the 13th of December. <laughs> if it's shit, you get a shit Christmas present. <laughs> but Nami's got me. What? He buys presents that the courier never turns up. <laughs> <laughs> Four years later, the courier's still coming. <laughs>